Hello everybody, welcome back to Planet's Recreations. It's been a while since I've uploaded, I know. Um, well, for you guys it's not gonna be really that long, because I have two uh, uploads still on my PC that are uh, still in editing. But hey, we're back and today is the time that we do the first African pack animal. It's the Southern White Rhinoceros. Um, so, uh, or the Ceratotterium Totterium Simum. Simum. Um, near threatened uh, population in the wild is 18,000. Uh, the southern southern white rhinoceros is a large species of ungulate uh, native to southern Africa, South Africa, Namibia, Zimbabwe, Kenya, Uganda, Zambia. Uh, they are large, broad animals with thick grey skin. The southern white uh, white rhinoceros has two horns, with the front horn being much longer than the secondary horn. The head of the rhinoceros is almost rectangular in shape with a square snout. They have a protuberant, ear, uh, protuberant ears on the top of their head and a hump at the base of the neck formed of the musculate uh, muscula, <laughs> that supports the head. The male southern wild, white rhinoceros Rhinoceros measure, measure between 3.7 and 4 meters in length, uh, are 170 to 188 centimeters tall and weigh an average of 2,300 kilograms. Females measure between 3.4 and 3.65 meters in length, are 160 to 177 centimeters tall and weigh an average of 1,700 uh, kilograms. The southern white rhinoceros is near threatened but has returned from the brink of extinction thanks to long-term conservation efforts. This species was reduced to 20 individuals in the early 20th century, century thanks to the overhunting for meat and sport since then. Consistent protection, captive breeding programs and reintrodu uh, reintroduction to, near, uh, to their historical home range has meant the southern white rhinoceros uh, population has recovered uh, spectacularly. They continue to be threatened by poachers who hunt the animals allegedly uh, for their horns. Horns can be sold for a high price uh, for use in traditional medicine. Yeah, this is also um, I saw in Brave Wilderness. You probably know Brave Wilderness if you don't search it up. Really good. Um, yeah, they needed to cut off these beautiful horns of these males because. It's so dangerous to keep them running um, with these horns because poachers will just shoot them, cut off the horn way too deep, and it's actually uh, in their skin, and then the, the the animal just bleeds to death basically. If you castrate, like we, we you could say castrating like the horn at like this level or even here. Then it's gonna be safe. It's gonna be able to regrow. It's not gonna be able. It's not gonna bleed or anything. But in the end, like it's much safer than. But the poachers still don't care. But in the end, if you look at it, what is a rhinoceros without these horns? This is what a rhino stands for. A rhino is that animal, that big, big animal with the large head. The power and with the literally the horns on top of their snout and without this you can't call it a rhino so is it I in my opinion it's really strange that we need to take off horns to save animals and this is their pride um, element of the males that is actually basically their 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 let's say manual uh, like their their distinctive feature. Let's say it like that. All right. Anyways, na natural habitat: continents Africa, region South Africa, Angola, Zamb uh, Zambia, Zimbabwe, Malawi, Mozambique, Namibia, Botswana, Lesotho, and Eswatini. Biomes: grassland. So that's what, what we're going to be um, focusing on: pure grassland. Minimum habitat requirements: one adult. Is gonna have uh, 1,275 square meters. They do not need climbing requirement, obviously. 
They do not need water requirements, they do not need deep water requirements, and they need a temperature requirement from between 13 degrees to 38 degrees Celsius. They need a grade 4 fence that's higher than 2 meters, so that's going to be important, always having that grade 4 fence, because these are big animals. Species data, social needs. Male southern white rhinoceros are solitary, they do not interact except to mate or challenge each other over territory or mates. Females may be solitary or may live in a temporarily uh, loosely bonded group over several females uh, and their offspring. Reproduction. Dominant male rhinoceros are territorial and will preside over a large area of land that females will graze on. Females may whistle to males when they are ready to mate. Or a male may detect a fertile, a fertile female by smell. When a receptive female enters a male's territory, he will track her and remain close to her for 5 to 20 days until she reaches peak fertil fertility. The male will attempt to pre uh, prevent the female from entering the territory of other males. During this time, however, it, if she su successfully leaves his territory, he will leave her alone. If court ship is successful, they will mate. Uh, uh, copulation lasts 15 to 30 minutes and rhinoceros uh, will mate several times over 2 to 5 days while the female is most fertile following uh, copulation during the fertile period the female will leave the male. Females will give birth to one calf after a pregnancy of 530 to 550 days. Males do not take part in rearing offspring. Newborn rhinoceros will feed exclusively from their mother for two months. Then they will start eating soft young grasses in addition to milk. Uh, weaning begins at six months old. Rhinoceros calves will be weaned uh, between uh, 12 and 18, eight, uh, 18 months of age. The female rhinoceros uh, will begin to distance herself from her young and may be actively hostile towards them when they reach uh, two to five, uh, two and a half to three years old. She will then become sexually receptive again. Female rhinoceros, uh, female ri rhinoceros uh, become sexually mature at three point three and a half years old, but are unlikely to mate until they are five years old. Male rhinoceros uh, will become sexually mature at five to seven years old when they are also strong enough to guard and maintain territory. Southern white rhinoceroses are easy to breed in captivity as long as they are provided with plenty of space. So group size excluding juveniles is 1 to 5. So we'll have one male and two females. Well, we always split it in half, so we'll have three of those. Male vector group size 1 to 2. Female vector group size 1 to 5. Dominance, the dominant male claims territory and females within. Says uh, mating system polygynous. Uh, relationship with humans, confident, can guest enter habitats. No, I would not recommend that. Average sizes. For males, the average size is 1.78 uh, meters tall at shoulder. And for a female, it's 1.78. Uh, 69 centimeters tall at shoulder. Life expectancy for both a female and a male is around 43 years old. Weight, uh, a, f a male weighs slightly more than a female. A male weighs over 2,300 kilograms and a female weighs over two, uh, 100, uh, 1,700 kilograms. And if you want to read that life cycle, go ahead. Research status. Here's the fun part. Fun fact one: the southern white rhinoceros is the most num uh, is the most numerous rhino uh, rhino rhinoceros species. Fun fact two: the southern white rhinoceros is the largest pure grazer in the world. Fun fact three: ninety three percent of the entire population of southern white rhinoceros live in South Africa. Fun fact four: although the southern white rhinoceros has no natural predators they have been seen with scars as the result of fighting with hyenas fun fact five the southern white rhinoceros has a uh, mutist mutualistic relationships with cattle egrets red built ox peckers and cape starlings three bird species that remove parasites from their skin and then the interspecies enrichment um, 
southern white rhinoceros will be enriched by sharing their habitat with all these animals so basically where can they live with uh, they can live with together with the african buffalo a black wildebeest a common ostrich a nyala springbok sable antelope red reticulated giraffe plain zebra and a thompson's gazelle anyways let's go to natural habitat and let's select three adults and let's see so we need a 2325 square meters of land okay here we go let's start the build everyone this is where we've been waiting for probably or you've been waiting for uh, probably the most so you may have skipped to this part which is totally fine Let's just create something like this. Alright, and now, first thing I'm gonna do is delete these. Alright, so now I'm gonna select the fence. And then what I'm gonna do is put glass, yes, and then added barrier. Oh, there's there's a storm incoming, guys. The rain is incoming. Uh oh. Oh well, it doesn't really matter. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it higher. Let's put it at like three meters thirteen. That's good enough. Okay. And now I'm gonna put a uh, wooden habitat gate. There you go. Alright, and let's have a look now. How big is this? This is 4000. Okay, well, we could actually close it up a little bit more. Because it's a little bit too much, in my opinion. So let's just go from here. Oh, yeah, my bad. I'm also planning on making less uh, breaks now that are finally stabilized with my job so not in school anymore not to worry about that much just regular job and doing whatever it needs to be so you know that's great that's great i feel alive to make uploads again and stuff so can't wait to be honest all right well i've made a little mistake here Alright, there we go. Let's have a look now. Now it's 3000. That's good enough. Okay. Let's have a look what we can do now. So let's buy the animals. So, animal trading. And we're gonna have a look here. Um, wait. Uh, animal storage, animal market. Uh, all, let's set all filters. And then we're gonna go to southern white rhinoceros and we're gonna buy you and then what did I say two females all right send to zoo and 
And now the only thing we need to do is wait a little bit. Let's have a look if my zoo is now closed. Oh, yes. Okay, because I do not want spectators. <laughs> spectators. All right. Look at you guys. Look at you guys. Oh my lord. You guys are big. All right. I think this is the mail, yes. All right, terrain. You guys need hard shelter first. Okay, that's pretty normal. Uh, let's have a look. Hard shelter, shelter. Uh, let's put uh, species. Where are you? South of white rhinoceros. And obviously we're gonna go with the African pack. Uh, just, ha just having a look, hold on. Yeah, well, obviously I was planning on going with this. Let's have a look. This one's too big, obviously, so I'm gonna go with this. Then I'm just gonna definitely fit in that, okay. I mostly place them at the side, but this time I'm, I'm more, like, into maybe putting it in the middle. We could do that for once. We could try it. Maybe it's something new. Maybe we try something new. Why not? Okay. Extra large, because these animals are pretty large, so... Yeah. They definitely need, like, a large bit of bedding, don't they? Alright, that's, that's like that. Okay, let's have a look if that's enough hard shelter. Probably not. Yeah, hard shelter, because it's the thing is, I've put too many beddings down, I think. Hard shelter 27. Hmm. You guys want something else, don't you? Well, I could maybe place like another one. And it's 69%, but um, why is it? Why did it suddenly jump down? That's not what we want, do we? Come on guys, don't be annoying with me here. Hmm. What if I just place this one? And I put this one away. Please don't say that you're gonna be ruined, your mood is gonna be ruined by it. Zero! What do you mean, zero? Zero, what, what do you mean? There's literally... Are you kidding me? Sometimes these animals can be a little bit fuffy to accept their habitat and stuff, but hey. It's fine. Look, 100... I am so lost for words at the moment. Why they won't accept... That? 100. And if I put this now away, it's gonna be 0. Okay, well then I guess you don't like this one, and then we'll just... Place this one here. Are you now happy? 70. Oh, come on. Oh, man. Do you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll just... We'll put two up then. We'll, we'll put two. Oh my god, these are such a pain in, in, in the you-know-what. Already, and that's not what we want at the start of this. Alright, there you go. And then I'll place one small one at the back, just over here. So that you guys are gonna be happy. Are you happy now? Alright, this is actually not okay. You guys are actually being kind of annoying. 
No, this is... This is unacceptable. Hard shelter, what do you mean? 27%. Or do you want this then, huh? Do you want this big thing? Oh, come on, guys. I could place that there, to be honest. But, you know. Ah, let's have a look. If I place it, are they going to be happy? Let's hope that they do, actually. Yeah, that actually fits kind of nicely. 100%. If I take this away now, will you still be happy? I hope so, because that's freaking huge. Yes, okay. We'll just have you then here. We'll, we'll just sort it out like that. If you guys want to have a big space, then sure. I mean, the giraffe also had it, like... Then you guys can have it as well. Like, that's not an issue. If the giraffes can get it, then you guys can get it as well. That's that's fair enough. That's fair enough. Alright. So, now you're gonna be good on shelter. So now it's terrain. You need less long grass. Okay. Terrain is obviously always something that I would like to spend my time on. Okay. Can be on four now. Actually, it can be on six. also Alright, that looks perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Sorry if I was a little bit quiet. Alright, and then uh, what I maybe want to do is like create like a little stream over here. Into the mountain. With like a little river. That might connect almost, not fully, to this. So like, yeah, that that's looking good. see how that is looking. Hmm. I think it can actually be a little bit higher. Yeah, yeah, that's it, that's it, that's it. Alright. Now let's add, edit the, the terrain fully. That what they want. I think this build is gonna look so good. I can already feel it. And these big guys are gonna love it, hopefully. It's not ideally what I thought that they would have wanted at the moment, but sure, if this is what they want, then fine, I guess. <laughs> if they want this um, kind of shelter here, then sure, man. Like, I ain't gonna complain about that.
Maybe you could do like a little stretch of long grass here. And then the other side is gonna be rocky. They need more soil. Yeah, I, I understand that, but soil is actually really nice to walk on. Definitely for such big animals. Okay, the terrain is now 100% good, but does it look good? No, I don't think so yet. It needs to be more rocky over here. Alright, now that 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 is done, let's have a look at the environment. Uh, plants is okay, you know, they don't actually need that much coverage, okay? Okay. But we'll still have a look at how they would feel the best. Um, so, plants. And we're gonna go to continent, Africa, bio, grassland. Alright, there we go. And now we can just start decorating everything in. And let's see if they're gonna like it. What I'm gonna make of this. Hmm, let's have a look. Oh, this is gonna look great. You gotta be careful to not place too many. They're not really... They're not really into uh, big, big trees and stuff, so... Like, not too much coverage, that's not really what they're into, so... Um, let's just be careful of what we place. That it looks great. Because in the end, that's what we want, right? Did you just go to the toilet or are you drinking? I have no idea. You might actually be drinking. Yeah, if I'm gonna place this, then I'm definitely not gonna like those. Okay, we could try. The thing is, they don't want that much coverage, so I cannot really make their thing what I want it to look like, but always what the animal needs. The animal, what they want, that's the, that, that's the maximum that I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna struggle against them or say like, yeah, we need more of that or... No. Totally not. Because... In the end, you wouldn't want to live in too much coverage or whatever if you were an animal. You wouldn't want to live in something that is not really your taste either. If you don't like it that much with coverage, then... Sure, it's every animal. It's choice, I think, like, so... Okay. And this is already looking pretty okay, if you ask me. It's not the best, I know. Maybe let's place... Uh, a fig tree, but it needs to be a small one. Yeah, yeah, these, these are definitely gonna be working. Okay, and then I'm hoping that I can play some more of these. Oof, okay, we haven't exceeded it yet. That's good. I really like the look of these uh, Hawthorn bu uh, bushes. And that was already a little bit too much, so we gotta do that. Mm. Okay. And then I think this is gonna be it. On there. Ah, just too much, okay. What if I take one away from these? Is that gonna help anything? Probably not. If it would, it, I would really be, it would really be funny, but no. Uh, what can I take away? 
Maybe you. Is it now enough? Yes, okay. Alright, that's good. Okay, and now I'm gonna fill it in with rocks, because it definitely is not looking like it's finished. Look at this. Like it's it's it definitely is something of a good vibe, but it doesn't really talk to me like saying this is the best build, you know. And it looks already so much better. And what we also could do is like place like a giant rock somewhere. And just build literally around a little bit. I forgot to live I totally forgot that I don't want that to happen so let's put them on the receptives don't mate I swear to god don't even try you can't have babies we don't do that in this series not yet at least not yet it's cruel maybe I know it's maybe cruel but no. No, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, guys, not yet. Alright, that makes it look a little bit more like something isn't it I could go on and place like everywhere rocks and stuff but I don't think that's really necessary I'm actually pretty okay with this it's it's not the best but the thing is I had limited space because they needed a big shelter I could expand it yes that's true but I don't know if we need it actually. Ah, yes, we need to expand a little bit, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, that was what that was what I, that what that was what I was thinking. Of. Hmm. Okay. And what if I take out the water? And we do it like this we fill this up and then we push just just place the water up till here there we go looks pretty cool if you ask me And on space they're doing okay now. Okay, there's a little lump here, but actually that makes it look really cool, actually. That makes it look natural. Okay. I think we don't need to do much further on coverage, actually, to be honest, guys. So, let's go to enrichment. Um, yeah, it's not always that the animals need that much more stuff, I think. so. Food enrichment. Hanging barrel. Okay, I'm gonna put the hanging barrel right over there. I just don't like the look of this, to be honest. Let's make it a little bit rocky, soily, and then we'll just... Not everywhere, but just a little. 
because else it looks really too much. All right. Oh, before I forget, before we uh, go on, I want to do something in the water. That's definitely something. Okay, I'm gonna need to move this up a little bit. Okay, that looks pretty okay, actually. There's like a little thingy over there. And then what I could do is maybe put like some fog effects. Um, just over here, just in general, you know. Like, just in the bushes or somewhere, you know? Let's see what that gives us. might be a little bit too much I think we will actually let it it's 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 okay it's it's on and so uh, Falling leaves, that might actually be something. Where could I do that? Maybe over here? Alright, I think this build is as good as done. Just the enrichments, and then we should be alright actually. Okay. Uh, a food, food barrel. We'll place this one over here. And then a melon feeder. We'll place this one over there. Then we're gonna go to toys. Oh god, that's big indeed. I forgot that that was a thing. And this can we, we can put that just uh, uh, there. A large tire. Oh, these guys are here. They are not to mess around with. A mud bot. Oh, oh, these guys like the mud as well. So like that. Oh God. It's gonna make the build look so much more better. But on the other on the other hand. Gonna make the place look a little bit full, isn't it? A rubbing pillar, let's place the rubbing pillar right here. And then this one is over here, so everywhere they go they can try and do it. So even in their little sleeping place. And then a sprinkler. A sprinkler is always, you don't want it near the beds. 
I would place it when you come out of the water. I would just place it right here. They get sprinkled on when they get out of the water, I think. Oh. That sprinkler has messed up my whole thing. That's not what I wanted. Okay. Okay, guys. I think this is the best that we're gonna get out of this. It's honestly not that bad. I think it's okay. It's not my best build, but it's alright considering what this is. Okay, thank you so much for watching and let's roll the montage.
Okay guys, this is gonna be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you thought about it. Um, yeah, the montage wasn't really too spectacular. They didn't really do that much, but yeah, what do you expect from rhinos? Just peaceful animals until they need to be aggressive. So yeah, thank you so much for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video.